Hey, what's up guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to shed a little bit of light on your ceiling fan and what the heck this little switch is on the side of the housing. Maybe some of you are very well aware and others are like, yeah, I've noticed that, but have no clue if it actually serves a purpose. It does. What this switch does is it will switch the rotation direction. And some people start talking about counterclockwise and clockwise rotation, but that's a little confusing because People like, am I looking at, up at the fan, down at the fan? How do I get my bearings? You don't really have to worry about that. All you need to think about is if it's pushing air down upon me or if it's pulling air up against the ceiling in, in a circulation effect. So the question is now, which one do you want? So if you live in the Midwest like I do, you have the seasons, right? And you should be switching these around, which will make your home feel a little bit more comfortable and possibly save you a little bit on your energy bill. So an example, it's the summer months right now for me. So if I turn on this fan, I'm gonna set it to the low setting. When you check your fan, I would do it in the high setting so it's just very apparent which direction the air is going. In this case, I can feel a slight, slight down draft. So it is pushing air down. The blades are angled and moving through the air. So it hits the air and then pushes the air down upon you. This is the setting you want for the warmer months or the summer months because that's gonna cause a somewhat cooling effect and you can probably keep your home at a little bit higher temperature, but because you have this cooling effect, it is more comfortable and more efficient. But opposite, for the winter months, again, you, you don't want a cooling effect, right? You might be keeping your home a little bit cooler and you don't want a draft or a breeze that's undesirable. But what you do want is you want to pull the air up and then rotate that warm air off your ceiling and get a circulation effect to move some air around in your home, but, or in your room without causing a draft. So all you need to do is just flip that switch to the opposite position and then you can test it out again. You should see the opposite direction of rotation and also not feel the draft now. So now you have air pulling up and circulating around your room, which will then bring that warm air that wants to rise and circulate it, making it more efficient. That's really it. That's what that switch does. A lot of us don't switch that uh, throughout the seasons, but you should because it will help you with your overall energy bills and just the comfort level of your home. Now, before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have weekly videos going out to help you with repairs and improvements around your house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.